So I'm going to show you how to create a, a screwdriver case. So this is from 1.34. Uh, make sure you have your last name and then screwdriver case. So we're going to go to the top plane. We're going to go to sketch. I'm going to select my top plane and I'm going to select the um, inscribed polygon. And I'm going to just click out, um, line up, you screw it back and forth. I want a pentagon, so five sides. Um, if you know, if you didn't get the pentagon, unclick out pentagon, you can try put five in. So I need this to be um, one inch. So I'm going to hit one. And then now I'm going to extrude this. So I'm going to accept this sketch. I'm going to extrude this pentagon. Okay, but I'm going to extrude it at an angle. So I'm going to kind of taper it off. So this is. Um, needs to be 0.2 inch and I'm gonna go 45 and then I need to switch that switch that position okay and then if you look at the um, picture it should go upward so all I did was I changed if you see here this way it goes out this way it goes in out in okay so we want it to go um, taper in so I'm going to check that Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my top view and I'm going to sketch. Um, oh, actually, I'm not going to sketch. I'm going to extrude it again here. I'm going to extrude the Pentagon going up um, so that it adds up to be the bottom and top adds up to be one inch. So I want this to be 0.8. Um, I'm going to taper it off again. Uh, this time it's going to be about three degrees. So I'm going to go to isometric to kind of see. So out, I believe in. So I need it to go inward. So I'm going to hit check. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is draw my circle on here. So um, I'm going to just to cut off the, the, the little edges on the sides. So I'm going to grab this pentagon. It should say sketch two. Go to center, and you're going to click on the center. I'm actually going to zoom in and to like see. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit as close as I can to the edge. Okay, um, but um, as you can see, it's not to the edge, but I need it to be uh, connected to the edge. So I'm going to go up to my constraint and grab tangent, click on the circle, and then highlight that line, and it should um, line right up, and it should be tangent. And then you're going to grab another center circle and just make it a little bit bigger than that circle right there. Okay. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting like these little pieces off to, um, to make it rounded, the circular extrusion to remove. So I'm going to accept my sketch. I'm going to um, extrude, but I'm going to extrude to remove. Okay. So um, this part right here will be a little bit tricky. So first you're going to grab this. You're going to try to grab all these pieces. So that's what you're trying to remove. Okay. So just grab these pieces. It's going to be red. That's okay. Um, this is going to work. Okay. So you grab that and you're going to grab the outer circle. Okay. Oops. That got unselected. So I'm going to click on that again. Okay, so everything is um, selected and I'm going to remove it, but I'm going to um, draft it again and this time at 60 degrees. Okay, we can keep the one inch and then just going to let you see what it does here. It's going to go downward. Um, and then, oop, that didn't work. That's okay. So what we're going to do is let's try this opposite direction. Yeah, because we want it to go outward. Okay, so I just switch my position and then hit check. And then there you go. You have these lovely little um, edges that's been cut off. All right, so now the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to put some holes on here. So I'm going to sketch on um, this plane right here. Oh, hang on. Oh, nope. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to create the, um, what you call it, the, this part, the, the circular part. So that's going to be half an inch. So I'm going to sketch on the circle right here. And then it should be my third sketch. I'm going to draw another circle, center circle. 
and this time is going to be 0.8. Okay, so I'm going to dimension that. Grab the dimension tool, go over, and I'm going to dimension this to be 0.8. Okay, that's perfect. And now I'm going to accept my sketch, and I'm going to extrude it up. Okay, so I'm going to grab it. And then I'm going to extrude it about half an inch, and I don't need it to be taper, so I'm good with that. I'm just going to have it going straight up. Okay. All right, so that looks good. So now let's put some holes in there. So uh, I'm going to sketch on this surface right here. I'm going to put my first hole in the middle. Okay, and this hole, I believe, is a simple hole that's 0.25 diameter and it goes down 0.75. So um, I'm put that down like I did. And then I'm going to put a hole here in the middle first. And this is going to be a simple hole. Um, Say blind because it's not going to go all the way through. 0.25 is going to go down. No, 0.25. I believe 0.25. Yep, 0.25. Let me double check. 0.250. Yep, and then it goes down 0.75. So I'm going to hit check. Okay, and then that'll be my first hole. And then for the other holes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pattern. So I'm going to select this sketch right here, and then um, I'm going to I'm going to draw a construction line. So I'm going to grab my construction line. And uh, let's just do it from this to this right here. And then I'm going to find my center point, my midpoint. Let's see. So I think that is midpoint. Uh, thank you. Oop. Yeah. Okay, grab the point. And then go here. Yep, okay. So it should show that little mark. Okay, so I have my midpoint, and then I'm going to pattern it. So I'm going to go to circular pattern. I'm going to grab that point, and then I'm going to go circular. Right now it's only three, so I'm going to double click that. I need five. Okay, and it'll create um, a pattern for that. So I have, now I have five points. I'm going to accept that. Hopefully that works. Yep, so you have five points right here. And then I'm going to make some holes on these points. So I'm going to create another hole, and this is going to be also the same simple hole. So I'm going to select all of these points, and I'll change the diameter here in a little bit. Click, select all of that, and then um, it's not going to be as big as that. I believe is 0.125, so I'm going to change it to 0 0.125, 0 0.35, go all the way through. Let's see if that works. Okay, perfect. All right, so now um, I'm going to accept my holes. I'm going to uh, go to my bottom. Actually, I'm going to go back to isometric. I'm going to go to my bottom, and I'm going to shell this out. Okay. Um, so where's the shell? Here's the shell. I'm going to click on the bottom of this. And I believe the shell was supposed to be 1 16th of an inch. So all I'm going to do is put down 1 16th of an inch and then check and then you can, should be able to see through it there we go okay and then that is it your screwdriver case is done so you'll right click on your part you're going to create a drawing of part one make sure it's four views hit ok and all you're going to do is just dimension it um, how I have it in my CAD drawing and you are finished with this so let's see if it shows up nicely Okay, yes, perfect. Um, just a reminder, if you want to see a section view, you're going to go up to um, the top. It should say section view somewhere. Section view. Right view? Top view? No, right here. Section view. So if you want to see, like, the inside of it. So um, I believe you can just say here, I want you to cut this piece. Yeah. And then... Um, should give you a section view, yep, yeah. and it should cut through it so you can see the inside of the section. So you can see that it's hollow where you can actually see the um, parts going in, and then you just 
you know, dimension this, you know, from here to here. This is 0.2 um, from here to here. This was 0.1, and then from the top to the bottom, this was uh, 1.5, and then um, yeah, and then just kind of, um, and then you need to call out these holes right here because they're all the same. Um, and then kind of click through all that. Just kind of, you know, mess around with that. 